a father and his deliberations about how to keep the promise that he made to his young daughter. So um, I will ask a question. Of course, uh, some of you may have seen Mark in other films that La Femme Nikita, one of them that I can mention, Le Grand Bleu, but these are things that were a while back. He can tell you more recent stuff that he has been in. In the United States, in Europe, he films nonstop, and we are so lucky that at this moment he wasn't filming, so he's able to be here with us tonight. Marc Duré. Yes, well, I'm, I'm lucky to be here, actually. It's the <laughs> other way around. Um, I just resumed Voyager with Tom Fontana and Outlander with uh, Metin Hussein in Glasgow. So that's my last big thing. Let's right. See. And then I will introduce Julie, um, uh, Julie, sorry, Julie, Julie and Simon, um, Thomas Simon, who were the directors of the second short, Hungry, of which I'm happy to say I was a cast member. Maybe you recognize me on the screen. <laughs> La femme méchante, the terrible woman. <laughs> and also the other cast members who are present here. Um, yes, our, our other cast members. The children, if are the you'd children like to, still here? Please come up. If you don't, 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 don't yeah, want to, that's okay. Fly, they <laughs> they're not here? They went to bed? Maybe it's past bedtime? Is that right? Okay. Molly. All right, so maybe you want to introduce yourself, say your name? Uh, I'm Alex Emanuel. I'm an actor and musician, and I play Julie's boyfriend. Yes. Husband, <laughs> 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 sorry. Okay, Julie. I'm Thomas. Victor playing the Dave Bon Tempo. <laughs> okay. So, um, yes, here you go. There the children who I keep hungry, who I take the food away and throw in the trash can. It's terrible. I need to stand in the corner. So, Jilly, my first question to you is the following. How did you get the idea of this film? Uh, well, we were thinking we were thinking of do, making our own film because of um, some experiences where uh, being in things that ended up for a variety of reasons not um, getting off the ground and uh, and I had actually gotten uh, Alex and Molly and one of them that you know I got together wonderful actors and and Thomas did the music and then the um, the sound didn't come together because of uh, uh, various reasons, and so it never like was able to fly. And so Thomas said, "You know, write something, do something." And then he presented me with an article about uh, teachers who who um, found out that children in their schools were going hungry and who paid out of their own pockets. So I thought, okay, well, that's. You know what? Then you find, and then if you do your research, you find out two hundred eighty thousand children around the country are going hungry. What do you do then? You have to do something more than you can't. You know, it's a governmental problem. So that was that was the start of writing that story. Yeah. That's very interesting because the two films, as you could see, had children in them. So my question is to Mark: How did you come across this project? With Stratos, Gabrielides. I uh, just Stratos called me because he had seen some some work I've done, and uh, I I just had my my daughter at the time, and he said to me, "Would you like to do this, father?" And I said, "Well, yeah, because I think that fathers sometimes have a lack of imagination with the kids. You know, <laughs> we're just like trying to find out. We don't have time. I mean, I don't know. It's a different uh, way of seeing things. So I just." said okay and it was for me refreshing because acting with a kid is is very interesting for us actors because uh they're right on target you know there's so i learned a lot and um you know it's an eight minute film so we didn't have time to make it shorter <laughs> as they say uh and i learned a lot and this film went in festivals all over the world really uh in greece as well it was uh yeah you had a price in greece yeah. 
That's nice. And uh, well, that that was it. Was simple and very interesting, and and also, you know, uh, never quit. You know what yeah. I mean? When you have something, you never quit. quit you try yes. to go ahead, and even if you have to lie a bit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so it's must must be quite particular acting with children. So I think you both share that experience in the film. And Julie, maybe you want to answer that as an actress now, not as a director, because you're also acting in the film. Um, gosh. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, I, I, it's just, it's just like with, um, I don't know, I, I find it just like with, with any other actor, in a way, because you're, you know, you're in the scene, and actually Thomas thought of some, um, as a director, he, pass along what, I'll pass along the mic, and uh, what you, oh, what you thought of, <laughs> what you thought of for, you know, right before the, the whole running thing, to, to have the children uh, run. Oh, well, because um, they're coming down the stairs, and I, need, I wanted them to really seem like they've been running and out of breath, so I chased them. Uh, oh, around, around the block. I chased them around the hallways a couple of oh, times. Oh, wow. Minutes, really. <laughs> Particularly yeah. Molly. I just want to introduce the to kids. Get the, yeah. Yeah. This is Molly. Yeah, let's have the kids to the front oh, and yes, yeah, bring them forward. This is yes, please come forward so that they can see you. He actually, he sang on the last song, maybe somebody noticed him. Yeah, that's <laughs> and Sierra too. And Let's give a hand and to the said, wonderful children in this movie. Because they are the future. And now that in this movie we saw how the character that Judy plays fought so hard to make the lunch system accepted in the school system, now they have no excuse. They're going to be growing to become big, good citizens and do wonderful movies and bring them to the socially relevant film festival. <laughs> so, all right. So let's open it to the audience and see if people want to jump in with questions. Yes, questions, questions. You have two films that you can address. La Tente, The Tent, by, by Stratos Gabrielidis, starring Marc Duret, and Hungry, by Jilly and Thomas Simon, starring all of us. <laughs> Go ahead. The question is, how long did it take from the conception of the idea to finally making the movie? Uh, well, the, the concept came about in February. Uh, it was written um, hmm? February 2014. And uh, it was written and rewritten and rewritten and um, and we we cast it what in mm, in May March. April. <laughs> so I remember you were doing it before. Um, you were doing it before. So we, I was going out of town. Yeah. So yeah. we we Jill wrote it. I mean, we talked about it in January. Jill wrote it in February. In March we started putting everybody together. Uh, April we started scouting for locations, and uh, basically we shot over eight days, but they were spread out. The first two days in the school, that, that was on the beginning of May. Then we had two shooting days in, in June, and then two shooting days in, in July, and then some reshoot in September. And basically, eight, I mean, the future, I learned a lot. I, I wish, you know, we could have shot consecutively, but because yeah. of locations and then the actors and whatnot. And the Eric Roberts, I mean, he kept actually moving. We yeah, had already things set. To, big scene and then we had to move it twice so that was a bit of a headache. Yeah. But yeah. he came in from Toronto which was awesome. Yeah, Eric, Eric yeah it Eric was busy. great to have Eric Roberts, yeah. Yes. yes, and he had a very, very busy schedule so, you know, therefore he had to ask us to move it um, a couple of times and then actually we had it set again and he asked 
together. Um, and we were just like, everything, you know, we have this, the, all these locations and this and that. And so his manager said, I understand. He just, you know, wanted to try because, to see because he was filming in um, Toronto, a TV show. I'm not sure if it was Suits, but um, I think that was one of them. And so he flew, he was shooting till Friday evening. He flew down on Saturday. We shot on Sunday and we flew him right back up uh, a wow. few hours later so that he could be on set in the morning on Monday. So he really was heroic to, you know, once we were like, oh, it would be really, you know, so hard on us to have to move it again. And, and he came through for us like a champ. Yeah. Yeah, Eric felt very strongly about the um, subject matter of the film and, um, you know, expressed how proud he was to be using his talents for um, a good good cause. Yeah. In, in his own right, he's an awesome screenwriter. Oh, yeah. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Yeah.
and make people understand that it's fine, we can talk about social issues, but it can still be entertaining and it can be, still be a good movie. Because we're dealing with a social topic, it doesn't mean that it has to be a boring documentary with preachy t titles. That one wasn't boring. Which one? <laughs> no, not at all. None of these were. Yeah. The best things are those that it, you know inspire and and yes. move move you, entertain you, but also inspire you. you yeah. Know, and and touch your heart. And if they if if these films can actually also create positive change, that's like the best beautiful. and most beautiful thing. So yes. thank you, Laura. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> And the film medium is very powerful because, let's face it, nowadays we are all in front of some sort of screen. It's either the phone, it's the, the computer, the iPad, the television, the cinema, screen, 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 visual, visual, visual. So that is the best way to tell stories and impact the world. So thank you all for being here, coming all the way from France and all the way from Brooklyn and all the way from everywhere. Thank you all for being here and enjoy yourselves. We still have a whole um, few days, like we have three more days. Tomorrow we have a whole set of wonderful films. One that st st stands out and comes to my mind is called Sense the Wind, and it's about blind sailors. It's fantastic. It's how blind sailors are actually taking the risk of sailing out into the, into the sea. And then we have on Friday, Sex Temple. <laughs> That's an LGBTQ movie about a Swedish film about a swingers club that meets together, comes together with a um, um, burlesque theater. Very interesting topic, but more than the topic, it's more interesting about the intolerance and the small city and how the town and how people approach differences and diversities which is what the film is here for. And on Saturday, we start early at 2 p.m. and we have a whole day of Dutch films, Armenian films, Egyptian films, and we have happy hours in between. And Friday afternoon, between 5 and 8 p.m., we have a very special treat for everyone. It's the um, Augmented Reality, Virtual Reality Experience Showcase. If you've never done it, I suggest you come and try the one with the goggles, and then you experience your places where you're really not, and you've, it's really eerie. So that's what we are having the rest of the week. Thank you all again, and all the best to everybody's continued success. Thank you. Thank you.